How's it going everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're going to be turning this farm into something beautiful that you could be proud of. Now I know landscaping is not everybody's favorite thing to do. It actually turns out to be one of my favorite things to do, if not my favorite thing to do in Farm Sim. I don't know what the, I don't know what it is about it. I just I really enjoy it and it's a lot of fun for me. So uh, I figured I would make this video and give you some tips and tricks on how to improve your landscaping and make your farm look a little bit more uh, used and realistic, uh, I suppose is a, a good way to put it. Uh, so I am here on American Farmlands map, and I figured this would be a good map to do this on. Uh, it is fairly flat. There are some slightly hilly areas. As you can see, the house is up on a little bit of a hill. Uh, now, of course, you could always remove it and flatten the area out and all that stuff if you would like to. But we're going to leave everything here exactly the way it is uh, as far as building placements. And uh, we may even add a few more buildings. I don't I don't know. This, th this first video is going to be kind of a, an intro to some taking what you have and turning that into something special. So, if you enjoy this video, do make sure you hit that like button, and uh, feel free to comment down below if there's anything in particular as far as landscaping and designing your farms uh, that you would like to see, or anything that you may need help with, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. So let's go ahead and get right into this. First things first, let's go over some of the mods that I have installed here. Uh, now, these are not required at all uh, to do any of this. It is just for the ease of uh, making making the content myself and uh, uh, making it a little bit easier, I guess. So, first thing you want to do is get out of the way of the area that you're going to be working in. Because if you know about landscaping tools in Farm Sim, it does not like trying to work around you. Now, vehicles and equipment and stuff, that's a little bit different. You can work around that stuff. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and leave all that there, and maybe we'll run into an example. But, uh, move out of the way completely. And, uh, I usually just move off of the farm completely if I'm going to redo the entire area. So, let's go over some of the mods that I have installed. Now, these are going to be for PC only, uh, because they are script mods. But, that does not mean console players cannot do something similar okay so this video is intended to help everybody on console and pc so to start with i only have four mods that are going to be directly related uh, related to um landscaping and stuff like that so the first one is going to be uh paint and terraform anywhere okay the reason i have this installed is because sometimes you can't get all the way up to the roadway depending on what the map creator has marked out as your owned land uh so if you have this installed you can get all the way out to the edge of the roadway as you see right in front of us uh, i don't think that's an issue on this map but i have seen it on others so paint and terraform anywhere all these mods available are available by the way in the mod hub okay uh, the next one is going to be free landscaping tools. Now, if you don't like to pay for landscaping, as I don't, uh, because I think it is a little bit OP <laughs> on the prices and everything. So, yeah, free landscaping tools I have installed. And free fences and bushes, because in my opinion, the fences are extremely overpriced. Uh, and then... Place fences anywhere. Now, this is a fairly new mod. It's not... I, I think it's been out for a couple of months now, actually. I don't, I don't know, but... Uh, I just started using it uh, not too long ago when I discovered it. Uh, so, place fences anywhere. This helps you when you're trying to place fences on uh, different terrain elevations. So, what I mean by that is if we go over here to the house here, and... You see how this little driveway is kind of on like a like an incline, okay? Now let's say, for example, you have a little, you have a 
let's say this walkway right here is actually more like right here. Okay. So you see how you got your uphill. It's at a slope right there. But let's say you want to put a little gate. A little, a little single gate right here that you can go through to get out to the roadway. Um, that helps with placing down the fence on the slope. The, the, uh, the gate on the slope. It, uh, it, you know, sometimes it'll say terrain is too steep. Or even when you're placing fence down, it'll say terrain is too steep. Basically gets rid of that. Uh, so it's a fantastic mod to have. Again, those are PC mods only, and they are all available in the mod hub. Uh, so for console players, if you want to, let's say, get, you know, free landscaping or free fences and bushes and stuff like that, unfortunately, to my knowledge, there is no mod that's going to make that stuff free for console. But what you could do is you could add the government subsidy mod into your save. Let it run for a little while while you're out farming, doing, you know, your stuff, and let it gain some money. And then you can go do your landscaping and all of that. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of uh, what we're working with. I also have, you know, my typical easy dev player speed, player save position, uh, store deliveries, lumberjack, additional settings, uh, stuff like that installed that I have in every single one of my saves just to make things a little bit easier on me as far as creating content. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring the HUD back up and I have maxed out my money uh, just to make this a little bit easier. Not that we're going to be spending money on landscaping because I have the free stuff. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to start over here out of the way. Then you go into your construction tab. And I'm not going to go over the controls of how to control, like, construction. Uh, you probably know by now, uh, you know, all the controls and all that stuff. So this farm, as you can see, is pretty basic. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure the map creator intended it to be pretty basic. So we're not going to, you know, dock any points or nothing like that. It's not that kind of a video. But uh, what we're going to do first is you can see we got a pretty good start over here we got our mailbox we have our little walking path and then we have our, our like our actual entry uh driveway into the farm now as far as the layout of the gravel i would say it's pretty good already so we may end up just leaving it like that and taking what we have and turning this into something very nice so first thing i like to do is actually if there is no, um, uh, like concrete or gravel or anything placed down, uh, then I do that first. Um, actually, I should say if there's no buildings or anything down, I always do that first. I place it to where I think I like everything, and then I lay out the gravel or concrete or, or dirt or whatever based off the location of the buildings. We'll go with what we have. We'll say we've already done that step. We've already placed our buildings. We've already done our gravel and everything. Next thing I do is I don't I don't go in and do grass or anything like that because I may end up putting some other stuff down that I want to uh, work around. So I actually do uh, fencing. Now I do not have any additional fence mods or anything like that put in. I typically just download every single de decoration item there is possible. <laughs> Uh, that's just me. Uh, so for this farm, you can see we're, we've got we've got a white house. Okay, we have red barns with the white accents, your typical classic American farm. And uh, you know, silo is kind of like a beigeish white, and then you got your uh, brushed aluminum, I suppose, or galvanized uh, silo back there. Uh, so. You want to kind of match your color scheme of your buildings with your fencing. Now you could come in and do something basic like that. Now that wouldn't look too bad with this, but for this particular farm, I would say go with a white picket fence. And that is just because it's going to pull from the accents on the barn and from the house and everything like that. Now don't start putting your fences down 
first, I always suggest to put down your gates. Now, the problem with some of these gates are they are not very big. This one is, is fairly big, but you may actually struggle getting like a combine through a gate like this. So sometimes I won't even use a gate and I would download a mod or something that has like a fancy archway entrance or something like that. Um, and do that. So for the sake of this video, I'm actually not going to put down a gate here. But where I am going to put down a gate is going to be over here. Now, what I like to do is I like to actually set this back a little bit away from the roadway. And you actually see this quite a bit in uh, farms here in America. Is the gate area is set back just a little bit off of the roadway. Now, what I like to do is go top-down view and kind of line it up with the roadway. Right there looks about centered on the path, so we'll go ahead and place that. And I always place the gates to open inwards and not outwards. So we'll put a little double gate there. Now, we could always widen the path, but I think that's going to be a good pathway for a walk, uh, walking area. It is a little bit off, so we will fix that. And this is where my kind of like OCD perfection kind of kicks in and I want to make sure everything looks good. And you just got to kind of play around on how to get this centered. Just move it just a little bit over. I wish there was a better system as far as placing gates. It is a little bit finicky sometimes. So that looks about right right there. So we will make sure that is straight with the roadway. And we'll go with that right there. That looks much better. Now... What you can do is you come over to your fences. And what I like to do is come out at an angle. Now you see how you, you get, you have this single area right here and then you go long enough, it will stretch into two separate areas. I always try to match those up. So I'll come out to the roadway right about there. And then again, go co uh, top down view. Try to get the same angle roughly and try to line it up exactly where you stopped the other one. You know, obviously it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that, but now we have our uh, entrance into our walkway and we have our mailbox here. Now you could put some little bushes and stuff like that, but for now let's just do the fences. So, let me knock out the fence real quick and uh, then we will come back. I think what I'm going to do actually is go all the way around this farm field and uh, I'm only gonna do the front up here by the roadway. Okay, so I have completed the fences. I've gone all the way down to the end of the property line down there, and then I have extended over here. Now I, ha I have purchased additional land here just for the purpose of uh, this video. And don't worry about this right here. I just, I stopped it here. So, you know, this would end where your property line is. And then you would cut back and then go around if you want to surround your entire property area. But for the front, it is already starting to look much better with the fences. Now again, you can go into the mod hub or, you know, find some third party mods and get like an archway that goes over this area or some decorative items to go on the end. This is just going to be using base game items. And then we'll come back in another video if you guys enjoy this and you want to see more. Uh, tips and tricks on how to make your farms look better and uh, more realistic uh, Then I will go through some mod hub stuff and find some items and come back and we'll continue decorating This farm so we have our fence area Completed and actually let me pull this up so I can get my player speed back down there we Go uh, So now you can see we have our mailbox. We have our gate coming in and our walkway up to our house. So moving back out of the way of the working space, we're going to go back into our construction menu here. And so let's say you want to spruce up this, this area right here, like these areas in here. Pretty simple. What you can do is you come into landscaping and go to plants. And, you know, some maps may have some additional plants like this one does. Uh, you can 
you know, stuff like this, little uh, Apera, then you have the Sherophilium, or however you say that, Chinopodium, uh, Circium, I am butchering these names, but you know what, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so yeah, then you have your own kind of grass type on some of these maps, and then dry grass. Uh, we will utilize some of these for this particular map. Uh, it also has its own type of bushes. So, you know, let's say, for example, you come in. One thing that I always do is I change the square working tool to a round working tool. You could always come in and, and place some bushes down right here. And it already starts to look a little bit better, except for, except for that. Uh, so what we could do to get rid of the bushes would just be to come in and paint over it again with some grass. Uh, so for this particular one, we're going to try to find something that kind of fits in here for the front of the gate. You know, something like that doesn't look too bad. You could always go with some white flowers. I wouldn't suggest putting it all over this area. You know, for me personally, the kind of style that I go for is that it looks like the farm has been around for a while and that it has been used and it's pretty old. So I like to just throw in some bushes like that and it's pretty simple. Now you could go along and place, you know, random bushes and stuff along the fences, make it look like it's a little overgrown, get some bushes over here. One thing to do would be to like vary in sizes and stuff. Uh, this one kind of got a little funky, so we'll come back in with that one. Maybe stick one there on the end. And it's already starting to look much better. And again, you can come in and randomize, you know, put it up against the fence. Make it look like a fence line is maybe just a little not so, you know, kept up with. Stuff like that. You know, just add little plants and bushes around to kind of make things look like it's been around. So we got our fence line done pretty well. Now this driveway. Well, if this farm was brand new, then yes. This is how it would look, because it's brand new. But, again, I like to make my farms look like they have been used quite a bit. So you can see we have a couple of different gravel textures. We have a concrete texture in here. First thing I typically do is I'll come in and again make your working tool to round and for terrain paint I at least go up one size. So you know smallest size it gets a little finicky so I go up one size at least and then I will match the terrain paint that is already there which is going to be our standard gravel. Alright now you have a gravel dirt, gravel dust, gravel grass and gravel moss. Uh, then you also have patchy grass as well. And then down here you have gravel pathway is another uh, item which would be a good one for what we're going for. So what you could do is just kind of start placing these different terrain paints down and just see which one you kind of like the best. Now I kind of like to be honest with you the uh, this one is just a little bit too dark, the gravel dirt. Uh, so what I think I'm going to go with, personally, is going to be the uh, gravel, gravel dust, and gravel pathway. Okay, so now what you could do is to start making this look like it's used, is think about where your equipment drives, okay? Then take your texture that you would like to use and just kind of start marking some of the some of the pathways like you know they're turning in off the road kind of thing and it looks like you know the equipment has drove through this area and what I like to do is just do a quick click and a drag quick click and a drag and it, it move it fast and it kind of gives you some natural patterns here. Already that's starting to look much better. Looks like it's definitely been used. Also, here's a good point right here, how this is overlapping into this dirt area. I like to do that as well. So if I come into my regular gravel, I'll drag that over into some of these areas. 
to make it look like the grappler has been has been drug out from the uh, equipment coming in and out of the driveway. That already looks a thousand times better. Now we'll get to what to do on the edges here in just a second. So to continue that, what we can do is, you know, think about a tractor comes in here, all right? So we can mark, make some marks going into there. Maybe a tractor is going to cut off this way. And I try to visualize the width of the equipment driving through here. And then, of course, you got equipment going off this way as well. Then off this way. Maybe your truck coming in and out of the driveway. That already starting... It's already starting to look much better, much more realistic, much more used. Now, what you do on these edges here, okay? Think about grass. All right, grass starts to grow into your gravel or through your gravel. All right, so what I like to do is come in and just kind of touch up the edges. Don't worry about getting rid of some of the grass. You can always come back and touch that up. So around the edges, I like to come in with, with a little bit of the gravel grass. And you can see already that it's starting to look much better. It's starting to fade off into into the into the grass there so let's just continue this up a little bit here don't get too crazy and carried away with it so we'll just go that far for now and you can see just from this angle alone this whole section right here is already starting to look much much better so to get this grass back here on this edge, what you do is you come in and you get your grass that matches the grass that's already there. Again, I go to the round tool just because it's much better for grass. I, I typically just leave it at the smallest when I'm working with edges. All right, so you can come back in and just kind of touch it up, bring it into, into the edge of the grass or the gravel a little bit there. Touch it up just a little bit. So let's say you want to go with a little more uh, a little more old look to your gravel so what you would do is you go into painting you're gonna come back into your gravel grass all right switch over to your round go up a size and here's here's what I do all right let's say you want it kind of in the middle right you know thinking big equipment drives through these little areas right here so let's say you want it in the middle what I do is just keep get my line and then I just quickly click in some of these areas randomly, right? You don't want to drag a straight line or nothing like that. Just some quick little clicks here and there. Is all it takes. There you go. Now, now you have some grass growing into your gravel. Now if you look at it from this angle right here, it kind of looks, it gives this effect between the two areas, between the edge here and between the center here, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of a divot there, <clears throat> which is, you know, what you would tend to see with equipment coming in and out of these areas quite a bit, especially something heavy like a combine. Okay. Now, let's go a step further with this, with this gravel grass. All right, let's go into our plants and let's find our short uh, grass that come that comes with this map. Let's switch it to the small uh, the the round tool and then we'll keep it small. What you can do to take this a step further is you see where all these little grassy areas are. Just come in and touch it with some grass. See what I'm saying? See how it just kind of it looks natural now. Looks like there's actually grass growing through just quick little clicks quick little clicks you don't you don't need to hold it just a little quick little click or whatever your button is for uh, activating your uh, texture paint for console players I have no idea I don't <laughs> I have I've actually never played farm sim on console it's always been on PC so we'll just we'll continue this here then touch up this little area a little bit of grass in there got this over here just a little bit right there 
Now you don't necessarily have to hit every one of those little areas that you painted. But me personally, I like to get the majority of them. And it looks very nice. Now you could also come in and, and hit some of these edges right here. Just in some random spots. Make it look like the grass is starting to grow and in invade the gravel area. So we'll just do that real quick. We'll just kind of touch some of these areas. Alright, now we're starting to really, really look like it's a used farm. Obviously, I'm not doing the entire area. We'll do that here off camera in just a second. This is just to kind of give you guys an idea. So if we hop out and we go back into our player mode, just look at the difference that that has made in this farm entry. It definitely looks more used. It looks older. Uh, unfortunately, you can't make dirty buildings or anything like that. You'd have to go into Giants Editor, edit the actual building, and place it back in. Um, yeah, so we got our bushes and, and overgrown bushes and stuff like that. We got our mailbox, we got our walkway, got our gate, fences, all that. And now our driveway is looking fantastic. So I'm going to go through real quick, finish up the rest of the gravel areas, and then we'll come back and touch on... Uh, one quick last thing with plants and everything. Like I said, this could be multiple videos, you guys. So if you enjoy this, make sure you let me know in the comments that you want to see more tips and tricks on landscaping. And we'll continue with this. So let me knock out this real quick, and then we will get back to it. One, one thing before I jump into doing the rest of this real quick that I meant to uh, touch on. If you come in here to painting and you go back to your textures and, and uh, what you're using. So again, stick with the same kind of texture patterns. You see these doorways right here. What you could do is, you know, visualize there's more traffic coming through these areas. Alright, so you're going to want to touch up these doorways and think about the path that somebody would walk. Round that out away or round it towards another door or walkway now you have this right here they would be coming out straight as well as cutting across maybe coming out this way just kind of touch that up so now it looks much better now under this area i wouldn't necessarily put the grass in here because you know you think about it it's a shaded area it's not getting a whole lot of sun probably not getting much water as far as rain so it may not be growing through the gravel as much in that area. So just a quick little tip on that. And uh, let's finish this area and get back to it. Okay, so there are two things that I want to point out here real quick. So I've gone around and just kind of randomly placed little spots of grass. You know, I've done the gravel grass. And then above that, I've placed down some grass plants. Now, if you come over here to this little spot right here. Now, you see how this does not look like a very, very good transition. Like it's going from dirt into straight gravel grass and grass doesn't really make sense, right? So what you would do is you come in here, you find your dirt texture, switch over to your uh, round tool and bump it up a size. You could actually, for this one, you could actually leave it at a small one since it's a small area and just kind of work some, gra uh, some dirt off into this area. Now, that looks like a lot, right? Yeah, I know. So let's go back into our, let's go, uh, gravel pathway. Actually, for this area, gravel dirt. And it's going to look like that gravel and that dirt are mixing in quite a bit there. Now it looks like a much better transition, much more natural transition. And you could even drag some, well... There we go. You could even drag some gravel into the dirt just a little bit. Look like it's utilized. So, real quick, back here, this is one thing I want to touch on. So this right here, well, yes, okay, it's squared off, right? It looks nice and, and stuff like that, right? But there's also a collectible right there. One thing that I like to do on these silos and stuff is there's really no reason... To have like a perfectly squared thing. You know what I mean? So what you do is you would come in, find your grass, paint. Go ahead and bump that up a size. Stick with your round. And then around the edges, I'll come off just a little bit. 
Go ahead and get an outline around it. Don't worry if you go a little too far. You can always touch it up. Like, that's a good little gap right there already. Go ahead and find your line around. And then just kind of very easy work your way back into your, uh, your, your already grassy terrain. And then just come in and paint in the grass. Now, same with this area right here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with this. So what I like to do on this kind of a situation is I'll just round it out back into my grass. And then just come in and paint the rest of that. Now, that's already starting to look much better. And then you come in with your plants. Go with your grass texture. Switch it to round. Uh, for this area, I like to stay with the small brush uh, size and then just get the edges and then fill it in pretty simple nothing super special to it and then while you're at it over here go ahead and pick up that collectible it's free money all right now it's already starting to look better right now you need to come in with your paint go to your grass uh, gravel Grab a grass. And then just come in and touch up the edges. Just kind of randomly around it. Just kind of quick tap, drag, quick tap, drag. You know, stuff like that. Just makes it look much more natural. And this right here looks a little bit too harsh. So what you could actually do is just do that right there. And then get rid of that little bit. That's looking much better. And then come back in with your grass, switch over it around, leave it small, and just kind of touch some of these gravel grass areas a little bit. And there you go. That looks so much better, in my opinion. Looks a lot more natural, a lot more uh, used, and uh, kind of what you would see on a real farm so real quick the last thing that i want to touch on in this video real quick is the uh so let's say you want to kind of line this driveway like this is all looking very very bare okay uh now this over here making a connection to your field we can cover that in another video on how to like make a natural looking transition into your field uh you know we'll see how you guys enjoy this and uh of course you know let me know if you want to see how to make like a natural looking transition um so what we would do for covering these areas right here is you come into plants and we're going to stick with the american farmland stuff that is in here so we'll go with something like uh let's see how big this bush is right here let's actually take that up a size so we can get a little bit more popping in that's actually not a bad size. Uh, so, come back in and just hit that with some grass to get rid of it. What we could do is just, you know, quick little dabs here and there along the driveway. This one might be a little bit too much over the driveway, so we'll just come back in and hit that. And then go back to our bush. And we can put it a little bit further back like that. So now it looks like there's more happening here, okay? Come in with the smaller one. Just quick little touches here and there. Then you can kind of fade that off into the distance here. Go a different size. Vary your sizes. And we'll just go, we'll just go that far with it for now. Or actually, maybe we'll go ahead and just do this side as well. You know, that's if you want bushes and stuff like that in here. If you want it to be a clean yard, that's fine. But in my opinion, I think a used farm, old farm look looks much better. And we may actually have a little bit too much going on with bushes here. So we'll just come back in with our grass. Kind of remove some of those little bit here and there We've got too much happening happening here at the at the this little area so we can do that 
way too much going on in here. Take some of these away. And we'll take some of these away here in the middle. And we'll get rid of that one. That looks much better. That looks much better. And then you can come in with some trees. Always match the tree type that you have on the map. So we've got two different types of trees here. Uh, so we can't obviously demolish trees or nothing like that. So what we need to do is come in and find our tree type that we have. And uh, does American Farm... No, American Farmlands does not have its own tree type. This is probably going to be more like an oak. Uh, you have this tree right here. Which is going to be the hickory. So you can always place more hickories down. Or you can go with the oats. So, or Amer American elms is what it looks like we have over here. So, yep. American elms. What you could do is just... For up here, I'd go a little bit smaller. We could place one down there. Over here, maybe maybe one a little bit bigger. Now, you got power lines here, so be mindful of that. We'll go a small size. Place one right there. Then maybe even a smaller one here. And that's already looking much better. So let's hop back into our first person mode here and take a little walk around the front of the farm. You can see we've turned this very blank and plain looking farm into something that looks like it's been here a while, it's been used, and uh, maybe a little bit more suitable for a survival start or a farm remodel or renovation start. Excuse me. Uh, renovation start. One thing you could also do is come in with some paint area and, and like you can see back here on this tree how there's dirt around the bottom. Now this is a little bit overkill in my opinion uh, but again you know this video is already probably getting extremely long and uh, I'm gonna try to edit this down as much as I can to make it easier for you guys to view. And uh, let me know, again, if you guys want to see more tips and tricks on how to make your farms look better and more realistic, more used, or uh, maybe you don't want this used style. If you guys want to see me build an entire farm that looks brand spanking new, let me know in the comments and we'll hop back in here and find a supply of land to build one out. And I'll give you some tips and tricks on making your farms look brand new and uh, still look more natural you know what i mean not blank not boring you know what i mean so yeah let me know in the comments how uh what you would like to see as far as more tips and tricks on this and uh be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you would like to and i will see you guys in the next video